Joining us now in Traverse City, Michigan, Michael Moore, the Oscar-winning documentary filmmaker who opposes the $34 billion federal bailout loans the big three automakers are now desiring from Congress. And nobody ever accused Michael Moore of mincing words, but in a new letter on your website, which is, by the way, michaelmoore.com, you really rather blunt opposition to the bailout. You call it, you say, these idiots don't deserve a dime. Okay, but what about all the people who work for them, Michael? Well, yeah, absolutely. First of all, Larry, let me just say uh, it's uh, some show here you've got tonight uh, where you've got uh, two winners of the uh, Sexiest Man Alive. Uh, so it's, That's uh, right. It was uh, close, too. It's quite a, quite a, a booking coup. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the, no, actually, I don't oppose the, the so-called uh, bailout. Uh, I just oppose giving the $34 billion to the current people in charge. Uh, we have to. Uh, 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 put up whatever money is necessary uh, to protect the industrial infrastructure of this country and all the factories and the, and the workers uh, that work at these factories uh, 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 they, the factories can't close and the workers can't be thrown out of work there's been way too much of that in the last uh, couple of decades where uh, literally hundreds of thousands so, of auto workers have lost their jobs so, so what I oppose so what, is what giving you... this money to this crowd okay who would you give it to? Well, I think I would give it to the, the company, but, but I wouldn't give it. I would say, look, uh, General Motors, right now the total amount of your stock is worth about $3 billion, but you want us to give you $18 billion. Uh, I mean, the total amount, the $34 billion, I think all GM's assets with their factories, the equipment, everything they own is about $35 billion. So it's like, what are you going to put up for this? They're going to have to put up some kind of collateral. So let's say we give them the loan. Uh, let's say then they don't pay the loan back. Uh, what's going to happen then? The, the government is going to have to take over the factories <coughs> and take over the car business? I mean, on some level, none of us really want the government building cars. I mean, um, you don't want Steny Hoyer deciding where the glove compartment goes, <laughs> you know, to move it over an inch or two. I mean, that's, that's not what you want to, you don't want Dennis Kucinich doing the wiper blades, you know. That's uh, but not, you don't uh, want, Michael, you don't want to see, propose. you don't want to see America out of the car making business. Oh, no, I, we, America, we need to be able to transport ourselves to work, to school, to church, uh, uh, to go on vacation, whatever. We've got to be able to get around. The problem is, is that the cars that Detroit has been building are not really vehicles that are, gonna, are appropriate for the 21st century. We have a finite amount of oil under the earth, and uh, we have a, a huge uh, global warming problem that's caused in part uh, by these automobiles. So we have to be rethinking this. We have to be building different kinds of cars uh, for the 21st century, and we have to go to mass transportation. These factories should be building trains, subways, light rail, buses, uh, this is what this is we and you need a vision put forth by the new president uh, that's going to say look uh, it's a new day here in America and um, and, and I'm going to do essentially what Franklin Roosevelt did when he told uh, General Motors and Ford you're not going to build cars anymore because we have a big crisis here you're going to build tanks and planes and our new president needs to say you're going to build light rail trains subways buses hybrid cars, electric cars, uh, and we're going to bring in the best minds that are going to come in here and run these companies the correct way. Uh, we're not going to give taxpayer dollars to the, to the people who have been making the decisions so far. And I've got to tell you, when you talk about the auto workers, I mean, part of GM's plan that they gave Congress yesterday was it said, give us $18 billion and we're going to fire another 20,000 workers. I don't want a dime of my taxpayer dollars go into this company so they can eliminate more jobs. That's all they've done for the last couple decades is eliminate jobs. And the more people that you remove from the middle class, the fewer people you have able to buy cars. That's why we're in the predicament that we're in. So uh, this, this needs a completely uh, right. a, a different vision and a rethinking. Let me get a break. Uh, head to our blog at CNN.com slash Larry King and answer our question of the night. Do you support a taxpayer-funded bailout of the big three automakers. We'll be reading your comments on the air. We'll even get Michael's reaction. Go to CNN.com slash Larry King, and we'll be right back with Michael Moore.